Hello, Collective. Welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching as always. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families. Please remember to stay only in the purest of white light and highest of vibrational energy. I return to source. I return to sender all negative energies and intent immediately and prominently. I call in only the purest of white light. Okay. Whatever your enemy has enemies have gained off of your energy, it is being stripped from them, taken from them, and returned to you because it rightfully belongs to you. You did not give permission to anyone to use any of your energy. So everything they gain off of you. Without permission, they are losing, okay? All evil and negative plans of your enemies against you are dismantled, being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. We have the angel number four out here today. This is the number of support from divine angelic beings. This is the number of protection, security, okay? It says you bring stability and rationality to any situation. You are the rock and your hard work and perseverance make a difference. Make a dependable friend, <laughs> partner, and colleague. I am stable. Absolutely. So let's go ahead and find out what in the name of source is going on here. Collective, I hope you all are doing well. You have a chapter that is, that is over, basically. Something has been brought to an end. You may have someone also that wants to meet with you to have some type of closure with you. Someone may want to apologize to you for betraying you, trying to block your forward movement, causing illusions about you. There is absolutely a situation where someone partnered up with the wrong people. They thought they were in some type of, uh, what do I want to call it? Someone thought they were in some type of legitimate alliance, but they knew the character they were in alliance with was a dark one. But they thought they were in on the winning team, basically. But someone is finding out that they were on the wrong team the whole time. And they may have done things that have ensured some type of ending for them. So while you are putting an end to this karmic chapter with these people, they are starting a whole new karmic chapter, right? You're ending the chapter. They're starting a new one. And this is just the beginning for them. So someone may want to communicate with you to ask for forgiveness, to come to some type of uh, resolution with you. Um, someone is just, they're burdened because they stand to lose quite a lot. It's like someone took some type of action against you to end you. Meanwhile, this is what's happening to them. So, they, so this is like someone mirroring the energy that they threw out there for you. Someone may have even hired a practitioner to come after you. Um, this could be like a king of source energy or some i don't know if this is like a a, a a king of swords or a feminine energy in her masculine energy but someone absolutely hired a practitioner you had a whole group of people doing things behind the scenes some of you didn't even know some of you know these people that were doing these things um to you the 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 aim of their collaboration is one they wanted to temper with your stability. They wanted to take everything from you, strip you of your identity. Someone within this group wants to be you. They know you're highly intellectual. They're all watching you, by the way. Um, this is how these people keep track of you. Some of them were accustomed to being able to invade your privacy physically, but they can't do that anymore. So they stalk you online. Some of them may be even going through some of your phones and things like that. Uh, some type of invasion of privacy because these people have developed some type of sick and eerie obsession with a lot of you. So you are their main course of the day, your side course, appetizer, whatever you can think of. You are the center of these people's world, right? And they had a whole operation going on that was solely focused on you, taking you down, but it's not happening. This was to block a collaboration between two soul twins. So you were supposed to connect with your soul twin. They didn't want you two coming together. Um, so they came together as a toxic dynamic, this whole group, to block this union from coming together. You can expect to be receiving some type of good news um, here soon to let you know what has been going on. Someone still is keeping some type of offer for you. So regardless of what someone did behind the scenes, 
They say, let me pick up the energy. It says someone wants me to die down my energy. Come on, go away. Someone wanted someone, whoever you're supposed to work with, someone was was wanting them to give their offer to them. So if you had like a king of cups, a king of wands, whoever, right? King of pentacles that had an offer for you. There was a feminine energy around this masculine that wanted him to give that offer to her, but he possibly didn't, or he's just separating himself from these people. For some of you, he could have given this offer to this woman, but found out that this is this was not someone business savvy. This was just someone that does anything for money. Um, this is someone that does not mind putting on a show to present herself in a specific light. What I'm hearing is that a group of people in this masculine could be familiar with these people with this ten of cups being out here. This is letting me know that he's familiar with these people that were telling him these lies and manipulating him. Basically, you have a group of friends and families that came together to manipulate a masculine out of his destiny, basically. So you had a contract with this person. They basically manipulated him to see you in a light that was dishonest. It's that hey, if we all get together and say that this person is not responsible, they're not business savvy, they don't know what they're talking about, then he's going to believe it and he's not going to give her this offer. Someone in here, you also have an ex, and this is what has been coming out quite a lot. You have an ex that may have even encountered this masculine, may know this masculine, or whoever wants to give you this opportunity. And because your ex is jealous of you, you are you may be someone that's multifaceted, someone very gifted, very creative. You come up with all of these new ideas, these creative ideas, and things like that that can be very abundant. If you had all of the resources to invest into those ideas, he doesn't have that or she doesn't have that. Um, so they may have interfered with you receiving some type of opportunity. But guess what? You're still going to receive that opportunity because it is something that is destined for you. Okay. You may have had another person behind the scenes pretending to be you. This could be the woman that wanted this masculine to give her this offer. But she's not going to receive it because someone is not you and i mean as far as someone is not genuine they just take on the queen of cups energy um to get what it is they want out of people so someone is not genuinely a queen of cups that you could be you 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 excuse me i'm seeing you as an empress energy which means that you are all of the queens in the deck but i'm predominantly seeing you as a queen of cups and a queen of pentacles energy so which means you're business savvy you are the ideal wife uh character the idea of mother um you're very nurturing down to earth easy to talk to things of that nature uh, absolutely you're, you're down here on the bottom so you are a queen of pentacles as well and this is something this masculine when you two met he may have seen this about you and this is why he was interested in working in working with you someone may not have even known that you two had a soul contract together they may have found this out a lot later after people had manipulated him about you and now he's finding out so he may be taking some type of offer away from someone to give it to you or he possibly just never gave this offer to anyone maybe he just kept it to himself whatever idea he had of working with you he just kept it to himself there could be a queen of pentacles in here that's losing quite a lot this could be someone's wife someone's mother i don't know what the dynamic of the relationship is but she could possibly be losing quite a lot because this is what she tried to take from you someone was not going to be satisfied until they saw you out in the street poor begging and things like that someone was not going to be happy unless maybe you fell ill and passed away someone was not going to be happy unless they saw you maybe locked up for some type of injustice so someone is very bitter and broken at heart and they're in competition with everyone that they see men and women but especially women there's a woman that's in competition with literally every female she meets when she sees you she's looking you up and down to see what it is that you know she doesn't like about you if you're if you're light skin she's talking about you being light skin if you're dark skin she's talking about you being dark skin so you can't win with this lady either way there's something wrong with everybody to her she nitpicks and things like that and you know women that do stuff like that those are insecure people they project their flaws onto other people to make themselves feel good right she said well look at what she's wearing she's wearing clothes from goodwill i wear chanel but on the inside honey she might as well be goodwill okay you wear goodwill on the outside okay you may look cheap on the outside but on the inside she's cheap and you're expensive that's the difference honey nobody cares about your chanel chanel don't even care about you so 
this is what's going on here okay there's something where these people get together to do honey this this is ridiculous this ritual business has been coming out in a lot of my readings where these karmic groups are getting together to do rituals and they've been doing it repeatedly every moon cycle full moon new moon they're doing moon, uh, rituals repeatedly rituals after rituals after rituals the funny thing ironically you know what's happening though all of the energies they're sending to you is not even making it to you it's coming right back to them and someone in here is busy doing cleansing spells protection spells it's not working it's not going to work that's the energy you put out into the universe so it has to come back to you that's not something you can just decide oh you know what yeah i know i sent it out to the collective and it's not going back it's not going to her but i don't want it to come back to me so can you make sure it doesn't come to me excuse me while i clean my eye i just got done doing my night care my, my skin care routine and some of my product is getting in my eye for some reason i think i put too much excuse me i'm having some girl problems here <laughs> i'm a skincare freak i like my skin very clean and smooth and well taken care of i want to age age gracefully <clears throat> excuse me please excuse that little commercial break of skincare skincare issues <laughs> okay so these people they're doing these moon rituals they're sending out the energy it's not making it to you because it's not meant to you're not in a battle or a war with these people you're in your own lane they don't know how to stay in their lane someone is trying to compete where they don't compare they're trying to steal someone else's destiny it's not for them they're not going to have it this is why we have a queen of pentacles that's losing everything this could be the woman that's in competition with you she wants to prove that she's a better version of you you cannot be a better version of someone that's already here not even someone that's gone this is like someone trying to be a better version of michael jackson come on now it's a hopeless mission abort the mission come on okay abandon the mission it's not gonna happen we are all unique uniquely created the way we are for a reason because we express a specific aspect of creation every time we incarnate so you need to learn how to embrace that aspect of creation that you are representing wholeheartedly okay to the fullest extent instead of wasting your time trying to block someone's destiny trying to be someone else that is so uncomfortable that is so low vibrational that just says insecurity at the end of the day when you can go to your house get in the mirror tell yourself i am mary honey your name is jane you're not mary what are you talking about are you dumb that's something like that is going on here okay someone is very bitter but these moon rituals honey this moon ritual if there's a full moon coming up honey you best believe these i was going to use a choice word but i'm going to let that go these people these karmics are getting together this new moon that's coming so that they can do another ritual that's going to backfire and it's going to backfire even worse than the last one and this is how it's been going they do a moon ritual it backfires they do another one and it backfires even worse than the one before but someone in here is a narcissist and the rest of the group are airheads so they're going to keep following this person and doing what the person is telling them to do someone is giving these people false hope so it's like if we just keep going if we just keep going we are going to be successful no you're not darling by the end of this some of you are going to be homeless like that queen of pentacles some of you are about to be jobless some of you are going to not have any money no connections your relationships are going to be done falling apart you won't like each other anymore actually a lot of them don't even like none of them like each other in this group by the way but you know they have the common denominator i.e you to take down so they get along to get along okay but these moon rituals are redundant okay it's redundant it was funny when it first started but it has gotten serious because they're realizing this new beginning is still in short you and this person are still going to be partnering up there's nothing they can do to block destiny this is one of those situations where if the most high is telling you to sit your behind down and you still want to keep going 
oh, you want to tell me you're not going to listen to me? I told you to sit down, don't get, don't interfere with this, and you're still going to do it. This is when life just starts getting really complicated for these kind of folks. They wake up one day, their dog died. They wake up the next day, they lost their job. They wake up the next day, you know, car accident, something happens. Mom is sick, dad is sick, the child is, something is going on, okay? So, but they want to keep pushing forward. They want to keep going. They have something to prove. Every time, whenever you feel like you have something to prove, especially if you're trying to prove that you are a specific character, a healer, you're most definitely not a healer. Because more healers don't have, I'm not going to say most healer. Healers don't have to prove. Uh, uh, prove that they are healers you naturally get that from those people people that pretend to be healers you'll know if you have two senses correct in there you'll know someone is pretending to be a healer okay that's an energy that naturally comes off of genuine people so you don't even have to prove it you don't have to prove you're an empress you don't have to prove you're a hierophant you don't have to prove you're a high priestess you don't have to prove you're a a, a, a star see whatever it is anything you never have to prove it the only people that feel the need to prove something is the people that are not not that thing okay so anytime someone tells you oh i'm an empress i'm an empress that's not an empress that is not an empress that's not even something the actual empresses that's not something they boast about because they know the journey it took to get to where they are the heartache, the betrayals, the setbacks, the trials and tribulations, everything they went through to get there. So they're not walking around or sitting around saying, I'm an empress. Hey, I'm an empress. They look down and stuff like that. It's a turn off. It's a turn off. Even healers, they don't boast about that stuff. Most healers don't even offer their services until you come and ask them for it. Say, oh, how did you know? <laughs> why <laughs> they're not they're not like bothered by you asking for services but they're not like voluntarily coming out here to offer their services to you okay so anyone someone you see someone going around announcing their title that's not that's not what it is that's someone that's struggling to be seen as what they want to be seen as okay so anyways you may have someone that wants to come in, honey, and fix things with you, mend things with you, okay? Because things are just too complicated behind the scenes. Something did not go according to plan. Something did not turn out in these people's favor like they thought it would, okay? They were planning to come in and cause you some type of ending, destroy you. Whether it was, you know, to get you to lose a job, interfere with a work opportunity, interfere with some type of relationship, whatever it was, it did not work. It's that your ancestors were ahead of the game. So someone in your energy, very close to you, mm -hmm, someone in your energy, very close to you, someone you interact with or interacted with regularly was watching you and reporting back to the rest of the of the folks in karmic veil letting them know what was going on letting them know if the tricks and stuff they were doing if the rituals were working if they were causing you enough confusion if you were confused they're finding out that you always knew what was going on you have clarity crystal clear clarity about what was going on you took off the rose tinted glasses you say, I don't need that sucker. That sucker is blocking my senses. It's blocking my intuition. I need to see all these monsters for who they are. So you ripped that sucker up a long time ago. And you've been seeing people for who they are. And they didn't even know you were seeing them. And they came in with a story every day. Some of them came in smiling every day. Acting like they didn't know what was going on. They didn't know people was coming after you. They thought you didn't know they were part of it too. And you just played along with them because that's how it goes. Neighbors stalking you, invading your privacy, listening to conversation, ear, eavesdropping, and all, all kinds of stuff. These people were committed to a lot of you. I mean, you had a whole coven that formed just to take down some of you. Just trying to disturb your energy, your balance. They said this person is too healed. 
we can't turn this person into one of us in that kind of energy. So they started trying. It, they made it your mission to undo you. They wanted you to be your star seed in the reverse. But they, their wishes didn't come through. You have a higher calling on your life. Your calling has to do with you and a partner coming together so you can fulfill your purpose. And your purpose is very grand. And these people know it. So they're trying to block it. You have clarity about the whole family situation. They form the whole group, honey. Extended family, I guess we'll call it. They form the whole family. Someone may have even joined this COVID in the past, thinking they were joining it to be part of something reliable, something beneficial to the community. And they found out real quick, oh no, this is dark. They didn't understand what people were doing behind the scenes. They only saw things from a surface level. That lets me know that your, your soul twin, man or woman, they have some healing to do. And they probably saw you. You looked a little eccentric, out of this world. They didn't fit in with, with any environment you were in. And they maybe misjudged you, called you weird, all kinds of stuff. And then when you left or something, you all lost connections or were not around each other anymore, whatever it was. They had to go through some type of rude awakening. Someone downplayed your experience with a COVID just to end up going through the same thing. But now they understand what you went through. So they have a higher appreciation for you. They hold you on a higher pedestal. That's how it always go. When someone can see things from your perspective through experience, oh, honey, it's a different story. But collective, you see these people crystal clear. You had a practitioner in here. I keep seeing a king of swords that was doing some type of work on you, and he thought he was doing a marvelous job at deceiving you. Okay, but you saw right through him. This man partnered up with the enemy to come and take you out. Someone considered himself to be the master of illusion. He possibly even had a friend working with him. Or the friend may have been telling him, man, you need to let this go. Don't do this no more. And he didn't listen. Someone's ego got the best of them. There's so I keep getting a king of swords. Okay? Hmm. There's some type of plot now to take out a king of cups. Now, remember I said this person may have gone up against you in the beginning. And we have the ten of swords coming before him. It's right above him. There's a lesson that he needs to learn or he had to learn from these people. He is mirroring the same situation you went through with these people. And he didn't know that. He thought you were just some crazy drama-filled person. You tell him about something, he just looks at you like, okay, more drama. All she ever does is bring drama. All he ever does is bring drama, just complaining all the time. And now he's going through betrayal. He betrayed you just to be betrayed by the person he betrayed you for. This is how life works. But there's balance being brought into this situation. Someone is having to be vigilant now. He's watching his behind. He knows there's no one around him that he can trust. You have someone that wants him to choose her. I'm telling you, build a ten of pentacles together to have wish fulfillment. You two will be getting married. And this is what they're trying to block. It's still coming together. It's still coming together. You are getting your wish fulfillment, collective. You are getting your wish fulfillment after this brother learned his lesson. Oh, he's done going through this experience. You two will be partnering up. Absolutely. The decision has been made that you and this masculine will be partnering up to build this empire. And you two will be content in life. This is the wish. This is something this person has always wanted, a true family. Because someone comes from a broken home, 
as far as wife and kids. Someone is coming out of a home where the wife does not respect him. This is one of those wives that she just yapped all day. She doesn't know how to be a woman. She thinks she's the man in the relationship. A lot of women are like that today. They think they're the man in the relationship. They're in charge. I'm sorry. I thought relationships were two-way streets. I'm sorry. I thought it was. But you have women in here that want to be the man in the relationship with a man. If he was into men, don't you think he would have went to a man to marry a man? Why would a man come marry you? We're not talking about those DL people. We're talking about the, the, the ones that know what it is they want in life. If he wanted to be with a man, he would have married what? A man. But he married a woman. But she acts like a man in the relationship. She yells at this, at this person all day. She wants to know where he's going. She wants to know who he's going to be with. Who is he talking to? When is he coming home? Overbearing. And that's what he's leaving behind. She's desperate because she knows it's over. So she may be planning something for him. An ending. She's planning, planning an ending for this masculine. Run, brother, run. Run, brother, run. Run, 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 run. There's a psycho killer within your midst. She has gone bunkers. She has lost her mind. She's desperate. You have better run. I don't know why people stay with these kind of characters for too long. Maybe it's money. I've never been swayed by money. If I'm not happy with you, I'm not staying nowhere. I don't care. Money is not worth your peace. Okay? Run, brother. I'm telling you, you better run. Because if you stay where you are, you may be found at the bottom of a cliff. Someone, she, she may, they say, where's your husband? What happened to your husband? Yeah, it's this queen of pentacles here. What happened to your husband? Oh, we went, we went uh, uh, hiking together. We were going by the beach. I don't know what happened to him. I've been looking for him. I was. I thought maybe he uh, just kind of uh, left me out there. Why would your husband, you know, that's when they can't get their, seat, their story together. Why would your husband leave you out in the wilderness by yourself? You, you two went out together, right? Uh-huh. So how are you coming back by yourself with this ridiculous story? You know what happened? She had access. She accidentally pushed him off the edge when he wasn't looking. You better run into a new beginning. I don't care if it's going to be by yourself, but you need to separate yourself from this woman. Because this is what she's planning for you. And you think you have people around you that are going to help you. You don't have any friends around you. Your families and friends uh, are all in cahoots to take you down. You don't have any supporters around you. This woman has clouded everybody's judgment about you the minute she found out that you wanted to go and partner up with someone else. I don't know how she found out, but sister put on her Google Gadget hat and she said, oh, I'd be darned if he leaves me to go end up with someone else to be happy. You're going to stay with me and be miserable. And you told her I'm leaving. She went bunkers. You need to separate yourself from this woman. There's something being revealed to you about what's going to happen to you if you stay around this woman. You're not going to make it. You may have maybe another good one to five years left if you stay around this woman. She's manifesting an ending for you. So you better start manifesting a new beginning for yourself and run. Run, I'm telling you. Manifest a new beginning for yourself and run. Run, Forrest, run. And don't look back. <laughs> Don't, I told you don't look back and you're sneaking your uh, a glimpse back. There's nothing back there for you but endings, sorrows. So even if you got to sneak away, you honey, you better find a way to get away from that crazy woman. Someone is with a nutcase. And he settled for her because of something. This is coming out in sideways, but the story always comes out like it's supposed to. 
he possibly settled for her. He maybe he thought he couldn't get anything better, or you know, it's maybe it's one of those relationships you get into it and you just get comfortable and settle. You're not exactly happy. You just you settle. It's too much of a burden to start life over. That's how someone feels. Oh, don't worry. You won't have to start over when you when you if you stay there. You won't have to start over at all. <laughs> As a matter of fact, you won't got to do nothing but sleep permanently. King of Swords. I knew this sucker was going to come out. I knew he was going to come out. <clears throat> I knew he was going to come out. He and his girlfriend are back out here. He and his lady friend are back out here. And they're worried because they're going through some type of loss behind the scenes. They try you with some of, some type of ritual. This man tried to do you something. And he's having to move on because he knows you see him. You see right through. I'm telling you, you see right through this man. You see right through him. This man was coming in to do. Listen, honey, I tell you a joke, but I won't tell you a lie. This man was coming in to do you something really quick. Took some type of impulsive action. And you stopped him right there. You said, hey, hold on. Hold up. Stop right there. Why are you calling me friend? We're not friends. You've never been nice to me. Or the ones that think their niceness. And you just look at them like you think I don't see you. Do you? Right? You really think I don't see you. But I see right through you. Someone is now having to go within to reconsider their alliances with people. He needs to go and seek advice because someone may have issues coming in, legal issues coming in. So he needs advice on something. He may have even partnered up with the wrong person and he needs advice. And someone has been ill advising him behind the scenes. And this is why he agreed to partake in something he should not have or agree to get in some type of relationship with someone he should not have agreed to get in a relationship with. Someone in here, there's a king of swords as well that may want to come back into your life and heal things with you. This is someone from your past, honey. I will be mindful of this person. Be mindful. Someone stands to lose a lot, so they think coming to you and apologizing half apology by the way it's not a sincere apology he just does not want to lose everything he stands to lose so this is him coming in to mend things with you this is a controlling the situation a pr stunt this is the person that will come in and tell you what everybody else did but forget to mention that oh wait and i was the one who was trying to unalive you he'll forget to mention that oh wait i'm the one that came up with the recipe for the you know the, the drink, he's not going to say that. Oh, well, you know, I'm the one that put the drop in the drink. He's not going to say any of that. He's going to tell you what Billy did, what Jean did, what Joanna did, what Marissa did, what everybody else did but him. So just be mindful. He absolutely collaborated behind the scenes. Absolutely. And someone in here is embarrassed as well. You're going to be getting some type of new contract in business with someone, right? And all of these people will be seeing this is your judgment, this new beginning. You're about to be connecting with new people, forming new alliances in genuine one. Maybe you don't see this, but spirit is keeping it privately from you. These people may be aware, and this is why they've been going so hard against you. You have a whole abundance out there you don't know about. Or an opportunity out there that's going to change your life you don't know about. And people have been taking actions to block it. And they were trying to hide you as well. That didn't work. Whoever is supposed to find you knows where you are. So all of the tactics to hide you, block you, stop you from prospering, it didn't work. It didn't work. And these people are living in fear. Someone is nervous to come into your energy because they know you see people for who they are. They're, they are terrified. 
And they're also terrified because they're coming in your energy with ulterior motives. Ulterior motives. You better ask spirit to block this person out of your energy. Tell them to keep them away from you. Say, please, spirit, whoever is coming towards me with ulterior motives, please block them from coming near me. Do not let them, do not allow them around me or in my space. I do not give permission for anyone with negative energy and intent for me to come near me. Block them. Delete them from your contact. Move on. Okay. You have someone, not someone, this group, there is a genuine offer that's going to be given to you, but they're doing some type of spell work, sending some type of energy to your heart, right? So that you can be in fear of this person that's coming in to give you the genuine offer and they want you to reject this offer. So you can start a whole new karmic cycle of poverty, living in like all kinds of stuff. So what I see then is that you have two offers coming in. One is fake, one is genuine. If you choose to fake one, honey, may the universe have mercy on your soul because it's a fake offer. Someone is going to gas something up so well, it's going to look promising. Don't be in a hurry. Do not be in a hurry to accept anything from anyone. That should be your clue. Okay? They're sending energy to your heart. Someone wants your heart to stop moving. Someone wants your heart to be conflicted. Someone wants you second guessing your heart. They don't want you uh, trusting yourself. You're being advised to make head over heart decisions right now. Because making those heart over head decisions when it comes to finances has put a lot of you and myself sometimes in life in horrible predicaments. So make head over heart decisions. Okay? They've been working real hard to block opportunities from you. And you know what? That's okay. It's just how it was divinely orchestrated to be. They've been helping you. Someone has made it their mission to block opportunities from you. You apply for a job. They go and interfere with it. Someone wants to partner up with you. They jump in and interfere with it. And the whole time, they didn't realize they were helping you because the universe was watching the whole time. And the universe already knew the people that were coming in to give you those offers, they had ulterior motives or those experiences were now going to be long lasting. So in a sense, whoever has been blocking you has been protecting you. Let's give them a round of applause. Someone has been blocking you the whole time, not, not realizing that they've been protecting you from false people just like them. Force people like them. Will you imagine that your enemy thinks they're defeating you, but they're really helping you? Now you're going to get the genuine offer working with people that will elevate you, see you for who you are, respect your work. Okay? People are being asked questions behind the scenes. There could be some type of uh, internal invest investigation going on. There's something like that going on, honey. Questions, questions, questions. Someone in here does not know how things played out this way. They don't understand how things played out this way. Why? This could be your masculine showing up in all of these energies. He's passionate about his dreams. He wants to partner up with you to build. Someone is very intellectual, business savvy. Wants to have a brand new beginning with you. He may think that you know who he is. Maybe you've never met this masculine before for some of you. But people are burdened about this new beginning. Some of these people don't know where you're headed, who you're working with, who you're going to be working with. And this is burden. This is a nightmare for them because it, if they don't know what you're doing, they're not able to come in and put an end to it, to interfere with it. Okay, to interfere with it. He said, if we don't know, if we don't know what they're doing, how are we going to stop it? How are we going to stop this person? 
These people are determined to block two people from coming together. Determined. You and this masculine could be could resonate on the same frequency in the spirit realm, but in the physical, honey, you two might as well be oil and water when it comes to personality. But you're still genuine at heart. Someone may be more of a king of swords in their energy that they transmit, and you could be more of a queen of cups. But beneath all of that, there's a whole lot more going on. Someone has gone from, from being uh, uncomfortable with you to being very protective of you. They may be defending you behind the scenes, and you don't know that. Your masculine is showing up in a lot of different energies in here. Absolutely. I just heard fed up. He's fed up. He's fed up with the people around him. He's fed up with their behavior, the things they're participating in. He thought he understood what he was a part of. He's realizing that he never quite understood what he was partaking in. He didn't understand what was really going on. His vision was clouded. His access to understanding, to knowledge, but what was really taking on taking place was limited. But he has a higher understanding of the dark than you do, because you're of the light. He's coming from the dark. And together, the two of you are dangerous. Because he knows how dark workers operate. You know how light workers operate. You have dealt with dark workers. So you know so know how they operate as well, but not as well as this masculine, because that's the environment he's coming from. He was part of it. So you two are dangerous and you two are gifted. I want you to see how you're facing each other here. You two have the same dreams, the same desires, same goals, the same wishes. You've gone through the same experience of betrayal, being let down, trusting the wrong people, getting advice from the wrong people, and you've learned life through trial and error. Your vision, your understanding, your downloads, you are crystal clear on it. Crystal clear. And you are so sharp that it may be terrifying to some people, even you, yourself. Sometimes you see things, you know things, and you're like, nah, I'm definitely having a mental breakdown right now. And then guess what? What happens, collective? It happens, right? Or you assume someone is doing something and you second guess yourself. What happens? It gets exposed to you that they're doing just what you thought they were doing. We all go through this experience. This is how our gifts improve gradually. So we've all been there. <laughs> When I say we have been there, I'm telling you I've been there. But as you go on, you learn to observe how things are going on, how people move, and you stay quiet and you let them be, they exercise, let them exercise their free will. You don't lose your SHIT every time they do something silly. You just look at them. You say, oh, well, I hope you'll be smiling later. But you don't say any of that. You just let them carry on to carry on. That's all part of the journey. But I want you to see how you and this masculine are facing each other. Same dreams. These are the same things you two wish for. Success, family, love, healing, fulfillment, comfort, being content in life. Right? You two resonate on the same frequency. And this is what has been causing a little bit of a hold up in this journey. Not really a hold up, but you know what I mean. You two needed to see things in a certain light before you could come together. You two needed to go through a certain experience so that when you two come together, you will understand each other on a unique, in a unique way. And it terrifies people. He said, these two are gifted. Nah, they can't come together. 
they can come together. This man now wants to take a new path in life. He wants to take a new path in life. What is he? This is what's at the bottom. He's gone within. He said, I partner up with the wrong person. They may have even encouraged someone to go back to the past. And what did he do? He went back to the past. It didn't work out. So he wants to take a new path. Someone may reach out to you for advice. Just be understanding. Give them your straightforward answer. Don't beat around the bush. Don't be spiteful. You're a healer, so stay in your healing energy. But someone needs advice. He wants to take a different path now. He said, this path I've taken is not working. It's not going anywhere. All it's done is brought me chaos. I'm here working with a whole narcissist, a practitioner that's just, that's an airhead. She's just malicious and cold and calculating. We're not getting nothing out of this. So he wants to change his path. Yeah, he wants to change his path. He's keeping his distance from these people, maybe walking away from them, not wanting to partake in this mess anymore. Okay? And they're all watching you. They're all watching you. They went from seeing you as someone very dumb, idiotic, clueless, to now they respect you. They said, oh, we've been watching a master this whole time, an ascended master. We had access to this person this whole time, and we didn't even know it. This is one of the situations where they go from laughing at you to, oh, we effed up real quick. Someone in here needs your advice now. But the, the pride, they did something to you. There's a lot of pride and shame going on. But they know you, you are an ascended master. You know a lot. You know quite a lot. A lot more than a lot of these people know combined. You have secret knowledge. And you speak, and it is. You speak into existence, and it is. You know how in the Bible they said, and God said, let there be light, and there was light. You have that gift. Some of you know secret prayers, how to pray to your ancestors, how to not pray to your ancestors, how to speak to your ancestors, because we're not supposed to pray to our ancestors. We're supposed to communicate with them, show them gratitude and things like that. You know how to speak to your ancestors, your guardian angels, and source. You know how to pray to source, how to show gratitude, how to open your heart for them to give you exactly what you ask for. These people don't have that gift. They don't have those abilities because their heart spaces are blocked. And a lot of them don't care about that, those kind of things in life. And that's why they have to steal. They have to pull tricks to get the things they want and the things they get don't even last. They have to keep coming up with new tricks, new schemes to get the next dollar. I gotta be snatched so he can give me some money so I can catch his attention. Uh-uh, I'm gonna wear the shortest, tightest dress so he can see what I got under here. Lord Jesus, desperation, desperation. A man, when a man likes you, when, when a man loves you genuinely, that man don't care what you have on. As long as you take care of yourself, that's all that man cares about. That man don't care what color you have on, what clothes you have on, how you have your hair done. He's looking at you for your heart. How you make him feel. Do you make him feel safe, secure? You're not judging him. Is he able to talk to you? Are you a friend to him? That's what he cares about. I mean, I don't care what lipstick you went and bought, how your makeup looks, how big is your behind. That's some superficial stuff. But that's how someone in here thinks. Because they have a big behind or something, maybe they're snatched in the body. Then they think they're a better option than anyone else. And they're being proven wrong. He's standing his ground. He said, I don't care about none of that stuff. I don't care. He's moving on. Sealing on the karma waters. Okay. Yeah. Dang. And it's causing a tower. 
Someone took some type of action to cause you an ending. It didn't go in their favor. They were advised not to do this, by the way. Someone was advised not to do this. But they did not listen to their better judgment because someone is a narcissist. Instead of healing, mm -mm. he said, Who's, who has time for healing? I'll heal later. There is no later. You're being held accountable now. There's no later. So they took some type of, they, they made some type of decision, right? To take some type of action and cause you some type of ending. And there was some type of interference. Like there was some type of divine intervention. And it dismantled the whole group. It dismantled the plan. It's what I'm trying to say. Now they may be going back to the drawing board. Because these people are stubborn. They're not going to be satisfied until they see you destroyed. Which is never going to happen. But they're gonna keep trying. You ever you have you ever taken a strainer and tried to fill it up? Let me know when you fill it up successfully. That's what they're doing. When you fill up that strainer successfully, please let me know. Because that's a magic trick no one else will know how to do. We, we will be amazed. I'm telling you, someone is going to be communicating with you. Someone may even be trying to reach out to you, communicate with you to give you some type of bad news just to get you out of balance. Is that, hey, I just want you to know this person passed away. This person was in a car accident and you're looking at, well, what does that got to do with me? uh okay like i haven't seen this person in umpteen years this person and myself were not that close i, I don't under, how did you get my number first of all that's what i want to know it's something like that they're going back to the drawing board i told you dark workers some of them airheads airheads Instead of them focusing on healing, elevating, focusing on their own dreams. Nope, 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 nope. They want to focus on causing other people endings. Meanwhile, the people they're trying to end are not going through any, in, any uh, endings. They're the ones going through it. But the narcissism in them won't let them accept that fact, that reality. They said, uh-uh, we're good. And the ancestors are like, nah. Our collective is good. We're protecting them. Someone in here is very much protected. It said the minute someone tries to come in and do you something, something happens to them. And someone is going through some type of ending they didn't anticipate. That's how it goes. You never anticipate how things are going to end up. And some there's, a, there's something where these people have been planning possibly for a year. And just like that, it was dismantled. Some of these people have hired practitioners all over the world, all over the states. Texas, Texas, New York, Nevada, Arizona, Colorado, all kinds of states. Mississippi, New Orleans. They've been hiring people all over. Haitian practitioners, Jamaican practitioners, African practitioners all kinds of practitioners to come after you someone hire a king of swords to come after you and he feels duped he may even be walking away because it's pointless someone may even be taking people money at this point but not even doing the work because honey what's the point he knows you have a calling on your life he knows you're very protected so it's a waste of time for him to do anything so he's just taking their money oh if this is a woman She's just taking their money and say, hey, you have free money to give? I don't mind taking money. So he'll take the money, she'll take the money. Listen. <laughs> take the money and go have you some fun. That's what they're doing. These practitioners know. 
They know you are protected. Some of them even know you have a calling on your life. And they know these people paying them to take you down is ridiculous. It's the most ridiculous thing ever. Some of these people, they just, all they did was just peek into your energy. You say, mm -mm, I don't want no problems. Someone even misled them to think that they actually did something against you. They didn't do nothing against you. They simply took their money, peeked into your energy, and got right back the heck out. They said, I don't want no problems. Uh-uh. And every time that idiot went back to them to pay them, they took the money gladly. That's karma for, for that idiot that's paying. That practitioner don't, don't care. They don't have any problems coming in. They were already told when they peeked into your energy, fall back, back off. And they did just that. There's one though that took the money, realized they couldn't take you down, and her ego got struck. Is it, uh, I've taken everybody else down. There's no way this Queen of Cups is going to defeat me. There's no way this, I'm a temperance energy. I'm, a, I'm an earth angel. It's going to defeat me. She's still trying to this day. She's still trying. I'm telling you. She knows. She's still trying. She's going to keep trying. And by the time she's done, done trying, she's going to be in this energy. And it's going to be justice balance they're going back to the drawing board they're going back to the drawing board coming up with with, with new ideas and none of it's going to work it's redundant at this point someone in this group is fed up with these people someone is so fed up but they could pass out at any moment on this whole group someone is fed up and then you have a, a, a crazy woman in here that just won't let up. It's jealousy. It's envy. It's insecurity. And they know that that's all she is. That's the sad part. They know she's just insecure. They know she's just jealous, imbalanced, not creative, unskilled, untalented, ungifted. They know. Can you imagine? Being amongst a group of people and trying to prove that you are someone you are better at being someone else than yourself. And everybody know you don't even compete in any way, shape, or form. And they look at you like you're a joke. Every time you open your mouth or they see you, they're laughing in their heads. They look with her. She thinks she's she's uh she's a better version of that empress, of that emperor. What a clown. They're talking about you and she's still going at it. Let's keep going. Grab your pitchforks, folks. We're going to go destroy this earth angel. Someone in here say you go by yourself. I don't want to be part of that anymore. People are walking away. But this narcissist here, there's a masculine in there too. His ego won't let him go. He's trapped in his head. He's tried everything. He's tried the manipulation tactic. He was going to come in to give you a false love offer. You, you didn't even entertain that. Someone got blocked before they could even come in your energy. You look, you look at them spiritually up and down. No, you didn't even have to say no. They just felt the repulsive energy from you and they backed the heck up. So now they're offended that you rejected them. Someone is very much into their looks. They're used to women googly googly over them, being googly eyes over them. It's a oh John, John is so beautiful. John smells so nice. Have you smelled John? Like, yeah, we can smell John two miles from here. John's perfume is very loud. How can we not smell it? We don't have a choice. And John takes pride in that. John wants you to know he wears very expensive perfume. He sees you. You're all angelic, very healing. He loves being in your energy, but he doesn't want people to know that you li he likes being in your energy. So John tries to play you dumb, but the whole time you've already read John at hello. You read John the first day you met John. You said this clown. But everybody else is googly eye over John. 
John, do you need something to eat? Meanwhile, she don't even have money to buy herself lunch, but she wants to get John lunch. How are you going to get John lunch when you don't have no money? John, do you need some water? You need some drink? And meanwhile, collective, you walk past John's, John like he's not even there. And John is bothered. John is like, everybody else is in my office or in my environment every day. How come she's not coming? Uh, yeah, that would be because that's a light worker. They see right through you, John. And your cologne is too strong for them, too. Okay, John? <laughs> okay, John? Yeah, honey. They're going through endings. Okay? The true empress has been seen. Someone knows who the true empress is. Someone wants to connect with the true empress. They're taking action, honey, to go and make an offer to the true empress. Not that little facade that's been walking around, being bitter and things like that. Someone took action to cause you an ending, and you're going through a rebirth. They said, no, that's not what I meant. When I temper with this person's finances, when I temper with this person's work, when I partner up with their boss to fire them for no reason, I didn't mean that it, they should go through a rebirth. I didn't say that I wanted them to have a better opportunity than the one they were supposed to give her or him. That's not what I meant. Someone is realizing every time they destroy something you have, you get something better. Think of like working a job for like $19 per hour and you're content with what you make. You're not fussing about it. You pay your bills on time. You take care of business. You're not complaining. And you have some spiteful person that probably makes more money than you, but they're angry that you're happy with your, with your little $19. So they go out of their way to destroy that position for you. You leave that job after they fire you. Only for you to go and land a job where they pay you $28 an hour. And you're looking at, well, I'll be damned. Thank you, source. Or thank you, enemy. Thank you, karmic. We wouldn't be here if you didn't temper with that situation. And sometimes the universe does that on purpose. Because if they had not interfered in that way, you would have never left that $19 an hour job. You would have stayed there for the next 10 years. Even though you know. You can do better. So sometimes that's how it works. The universe will use your enemies to elevate you. They come in, they say, oh, we're going to end this position for them. We're going to end this opportunity for them. And the most high is sitting back like, yes, just like I planned. Thank you. Hurry up. Hurry up. Chop, chop. Chop, chop. I beg, I beg. Move, 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 move faster. And they go in, they talk to your boss, and they tell your boss, you know, your boss may be considering you for a position and they tell him, don't give that position to Billy. Don't give that position to Millie. To, to, yeah, to Millie. Millie is not wise enough to handle that position. Millie doesn't know what, what she's doing. Billy does not know what he's doing. So your boss decides he's not going to give you the position. They end up getting you fired. Only for your boss to sometime later see you on TV. And he's sitting there like, I be damned. I should have partnered up with that person. Why did I listen to those idiots? And your boss is, your old boss is sitting in that office of his yelling. You cost me a lot. Look what you cost me. They're on TV. They're worth millions. No, you cost yourself that. You have a mind of your own, boss. You should have thought for yourself. You should have thought for yourself. So you have three people working together, possibly some of you or more. Very determined to take you down. Could be too masculine in a woman. Someone didn't want you with their son. So she went above and beyond to make sure you didn't get with her son. Yeah, well, now they're burden, honey. Because spirit is intervening, interceding on your behalf. 
because and now there's a this king of pentacles here he's burdened because you're about to be working with <laughs> honey you're about to be working with better people your soul tribe they're worried because you're protected someone is bothered because every time they plan to do you something your angels step in and say i don't think so we're not doing that we don't do that in this bloodline yeah yeah when we maybe initially started incarnating to have these experiences yeah 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 yeah. that was cute but where we are now in this lineage yeah we don't do stuff like that so yeah not happening not happening okay someone went from seeing you as an empress to seeing you as a burden simply because of what people told them they went from seeing you as someone of high honor to seeing you as a little boy a little girl trying to play with your mental and the whole time you knew you sat there you watched them make a fool out of themselves because you always knew how this was going to end up you see the narcissist what's going what's happening now exactly their burden you always knew what was going to happen you said, I've done everything to block these two from coming together. They're still happening. It's, someone is losing their mind behind the scenes. Over two people coming together. Mind you, they can't have either of these people. If this is a woman, the man don't want her. If this is a man, the woman don't want her. Like this couple here, the divine couple that's supposed to come together, neither of them like this narcissist. So this narcissist may have a feeling, may have feelings for one of those people. They don't reciprocate it. So it said, "What's the point? Is that why? Because you like someone and they don't like you? Is that what it is?" And then you, someone in here is coming from the dark. They want to keep him in the dark. They don't, that's when you know you are around the wrong people. When they will go out of their way to keep you in darkness, in toxicity keep you indulging in unhealthy things. This masculine has done the work to you or he's doing the work to you and he's speaking his mind and he's putting an end to this. He's like, I'm out of here. If there's a practitioner in here, she's going through her ending herself. She's more so in her queen of source energy though because she hides what she does. Someone's very manipulative. She's going through her ending, not by choice. But because of the energy she put out there into the world, it's coming back to her. That's called balance. Dang. Dang. Everyone is being held accountable. Your victory is being protected. And you're being told, honey, you, you didn't misunderstand nothing. This is what they do when they come into your energy. Oh, no. I just want to clear things up with, no, I don't need you to clear nothing up. I already know what's going on. Don't come in here trying to cloud my judgment, manipulate me, play mind games. We don't have time for that. Oh, no, no, no. You're mis... No, I'm not misunderstanding nothing. I I just had to do that with one of my neighbors. <laughs> Older lady. Knows what she's doing. We are all assigned a parking spot in our building, in the garage. He parked in my spot. I went downstairs to talk to her. Oh, 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 I didn't know you were still here. What? I didn't know you were still living here. Whether I live here or not, that's not assigned to you, correct? Your lease does not say parking spot 8 belongs to you, does it? No? Okay. Don't play mind games with me. Don't let anyone come in your energy and play foolish with you. Okay? That's a form of karma and people have to learn to come overcome. Some and sometimes these karmics, they mistake in silence for stupidity or being a naivety. It's not that you're naive. You're just choosing to be quiet. Someone like me, for example, I don't know what you're doing. But I'll let you exercise your free will. Because it's your free will. You're free to exercise it as you please. 
So when you're doing stupid stuff, I'm not going to say nothing. I'll let you carry out your plan. So you can find out the hard way. Not everyone is meant to be a target. There are some people you need to learn how to back off of. Leave them alone. If they don't mess with you, don't mess with them. You don't have authority over anyone. Everyone is in charge of their own destiny. You're not in charge of anyone else. And there's a masculine in here, someone's ex. Someone has gone out of their way to bind you to them and it's not working. Someone does not have control of you. And someone is about to go through some type of horrendous experience. Boy, when you see this person, it'll be like you're looking at someone like a stranger because they won't even look like anything that, that they used to be. Someone, If someone was horrible when you two were together, they're far worse now. Someone is desperate. You know, like those people that had the addition problems when they're going through withdrawal? That's how someone looks. Like a smoky from the PJs. That's how they, they look or they're about to look. And it ain't pretty. It is not pretty. But that's violence. That's karma. And they're living in regrets. Someone is living in regrets. Even after you two come together, you and your soul twin, guess what? You still have people trying to cause problems, interferences. It's not going to work. Like you two will be sitting behind closed doors and laughing at the things these people are going to be doing. People are going to be picking out of bush, picking their heads out of bushes to see what you two are up to, making comments. If you two are on social media, because that's a page of source car was picking out a lot. If you two are on social media, people will be getting in the comment section to post things to get a reaction out of you. This is one of those where the you'll have feminists. Oh, he used to say this about you. He used to speak really ill of you. And you're just going to look at it, read it, like it, and move on. And someone is going to be pissed off behind the scenes. You can do like me, collective. Pin that sucker. <laughs> Pin it. <laughs> I've had people post stupid stuff out of my videos before I turn the comment section off. <laughs> They'll post something stupid and I'll read it. I said, oh, there goes one. Let me pin it. I like this comment. <laughs> uh, sometimes I'll just give them the side eye, like that bombastic side eye emoji. They said, oh, look at you, poor little thing thing. Little old me got a reaction out of you to the point where you took time out of your day to comment on my video. I thank you, sir. I thank you, ma'am. Thank you for the interaction. Thank you for watching this video. Come again. There will be more tomorrow. <laughs> Ooh. It's like, please come again tomorrow to watch. Okay, we had 33, which is uh, some down to six, moving on to calmer waters. It said, any positive changes or projects you are considering right now will be worth your while. Expect that your power, of, your power to manifest and create will be heightened. Heightened. <laughs> I am expanding. Absolutely. I said someone had the gift of manifestation, right? Look at that. I'm telling you. The three, okay, coming together, new alliances, abundance, celebration, giving and receiving, okay? It said you are unoriginal. Lord, spirit is just <laughs> reiterating everything I said. There's a woman in here trying to be another woman. And the title, the, the first sentence of this is what? 
you are an original, innovative thinker, thinker and an excellent communicator. You have a great talent for using creativity to convey your ideas and your optimistic attitude has an uplifting effect on others. I am imaginative. Anyways, folks, thank you so much for watching Collective. Stay blessed. I'll see you later. Goodbye for now.